Okay, you can load it. Have the fuel tank, sir. Yes. Flying trucking, how you doing? Okay, so we've got a slight weight and balance issue going on right now. Oh, so I yeah, brought the yeah. wing forward. Petrol head, thank you very much for the bits. Time to party. Should be enough. It's annoying having to put extra weight on the front, though. There's something very Airbus about that plane. Now. <laughs> Are you saying it's not a Boeing? No, I'm definitely feeling the French. I bet you are. <laughs> Welcome back. Like you see, we fixed it. Yeah. Looks like a balloon. So hashtag blame from yeah. Always. Even when he's not in the game, blame him. Well, he was in the game. Let's press yeah. why it broke. See. I haven't finished with the nose yet. I don't even know what we're gonna do with this nose. I, I literally have no clue. I might just taper it in even more. Are you spawning something in, Jack? No. It needs to. It needs to be long enough this for this folded only carriage, so it needs to come out to about oh, here anyway. Do the lighthouse again. Oh. Um. You probably don't want the top section to be that long anyway. I'm honest. I want it a bit more like that. Because you want to be able to see out the front, I would have thought. As long as that weight sits slightly forward of that wheel axle, it won't tip when it spawns. Oh, okay. That's the main thing. Um. What's up? Well, I then tried to move the gantry and it didn't move. And now I've just stepped back and looked at it for a little while and it's now moved everywhere that I was trying to move it earlier. Oh. Uh. Was taking his time catching up. Hmm. Hang on, how have you done that? Do you know why the low the nose is long, Matty? <laughs> that was weird. You didn't need crash. to do that because I uh, respawned something in. Whatever you oh, did, just crash the game. Gone. This hasn't been updated since we just played it, has it? I haven't uh, seen a Steam update. No. Hashtag blame Jack. Well, I do. So is this completely broken, though, then? I hope not. I don't know. I mean, it's the same save game that I loaded just before mid midday today, so... I can't think what could be different apart from whatever you just did, smash the game. That felt like desync. It was lagging around quite a lot, not catching up on what somebody was doing. I think it just didn't like it.
And also, how could I have spawned that in if I hadn't have got the auth done? That's true. I didn't yeah. think it was weird you hadn't asked me for auth That's yet. weird. Very. Exactly, it's Pinocchio's plane. Um... I'm in. And that's weird. That's kept me back at the place that we were. Well, I loaded the auto save. Oh, okay. There's some strange when happenings going when on. This time I can't use a workbench, so that's an improvement. Error connecting to server. Why do you See? teleport over to me so the whole thing can sync up? Well, it's all functioning again now that Jack's not in the game. <laughs> Lol. Knew it. Hashtag blame Jack. See if we can save this. I can't even seem to connect. No. Crash? Oh, no, save. Are you saving? What's going on? I'm trying to save it. Okay, it's saved. Wow, that took a long time. Yep. Right, do you want to try joining, Jack? Uh, I'm still am. It's just saying connecting to server constantly. Hmm. And I can't even cancel it. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> oh, hello. Error connecting to server. Failed to connect to server. Make sure Stormwatch is not being blocked by your PC's firewall or the host firewall. It does sound very networkish. You what, bro? Of red text. I've just done a speed test and it's running exactly as it usually does. Speed test doesn't tell you anything about firewall port configuration. No, I was more worried about my speed because of things being laggy and slow. So, Sami and Pubs, are you able to do stuff now? Yeah. Well, I seem to be moving and connecting things up and such like. Okay. See, I knew it. It was hashtag playing Jack. Until you then hopped in the workbench and now it's stopped again. Love. That's because I think the server's um, going back down to like 30 FPS or something. When you say it's stopped, what do you mean? Okay, I think there's stormworks happenings. Well, apparently all it took was a restart, and it's working now. He broke the game handle. I didn't break the game, you broke the game. You did, Jack. I thought we had agreed Don't it was Rome's fault. I'm going to TP over to Paul just so that it's syncing up again. Oh, we haven't bought that other airfield, is what you are. Is it safe to spawn an item? Yeah. Are you spawning curly toes? Hmm. Bye, pups. I've got that bug where I can't move the um, fuel hoses. Do you know what's weird is you just disappeared with your truck. After you disappeared, all the fuel hoses started picking up and moving around by themselves. <laughs> it's Casper the friendly ghost.
Hmm. I'm trying to think what shape I need. Is it the inverse pyramid I want? Inverse, inverse two by four? Maybe it's that. Shame. 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 Connor, this sound is for Jack. Hey guys, welcome to Yacht 6, Year of Troubleshooting Stormworks 6. <laughs> oh my god, Connor. So rude. <laughs> oh, god. oh dear. So that looks almost right, apart from it's on the wrong side. I think it should be over here. Now it's the wrong way around. What's going on? Seriously, what piece do I need? You think it's an inverse one but smaller? Really? Or you think it's an inverse one by four then? Is it one of them we need? It's just a. Isn't it just a two by four pyramid normal? A two by four pyramid normal. Is there even such a thing? Inverse. That one. Let's try that one. Don't know. Oh, around maybe, like press the uh, I key or the O key. I O. Do the O key key. And turn around. That's what it's all about. What it's all about. You joining back, pups? Oh, I just a wedge one by storm watch. Oh yeah, that might help. Hang on, what? Back. What? Well, Magnus you came up and said you joined the game. Not Magnus. And Vrome, sentient bot, gifted a sub to Magnus it, plus four others. Thank you very much, Vrome, for gifting five subs via Where sentient bot. Other side of the airfield. Scumbag bot, spending your money, Vrome. <laughs> Lol. Thank you, sir. <laughs> See, the problem with this is I can't actually do anything with that piece to make it taper into this. Mm -mm. Oh, you didn't move me, did you, Jack? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you did. I don't know what you're talking about. You said that was such conviction, Jack. <laughs> oh, I need to see if this thing will start. Welcome back, Nutter. What piece do we want here? So if we get rid of that, I'm going to redo that thing. That two by one wedge, maybe. Welcome back, Nutter. That's quite nice. Now I need to sort of taper it into this lot. Seems to be working. Until it turns itself off again. Um, have you set the throttle to sticky? Are oh, you using a lever? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Do you have an RPM gauge? Yeah. Uh, can, is, can I see your engine or is it blocked off? Uh, you yeah, you're not kidding, side. Harpoon. Mr. Aliki, thank you for the bits. Happy Yacht 6. Uh, thank you, mate. Fuel set Benna, thanks for giving us some to Jay Rinder. Did you set the exhaust up? No, hang on. See, I like the shape of that nose. That'll be why. But trying to figure out how to blend it into the rest of that, I do not know. I wonder if that's an inverse pyramid, but it's not. Uh, Paul, can I get orth when you've got a sec? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Don't give it to him. There you go. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Leaky.
Thank you for the bits. I think maybe a two by one wedge would fix this. Ooh. Well, it looks a bit like an eagle or something. <laughs> it is like a jigsaw. It's just crazy. Thank you. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Joel, 80 months. That's a big number, Joel. Thank you, sir. How am I? I'm not bad. I'm in good health. That's all you can hope for these days. I also need to move the fuel pump, Jack. Have you seen where it is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that bug again. I think maybe we'd go from that you side. You picked it up for me. Yeah, I, I, not on my screen. Right, let me take it. Pepper's barking at stuff. Hang on, Jack. Let me just move it. Yeah, you're not kidding. I mean, what, what piece is going to go there? That's like a one by two think so can i just ask because i haven't really been watching the stream have, have you finished with your plane and you're just doing the aesthetics or you're just taking a break from trying to fix it i should really be focusing on the plane well people were complaining about the nose so i just felt tempted to fix it uh, okay so blame chat i don't know getting a nose job it's a pretty nose That's got to be some kind of inverse thing going yeah, on here. That last little block is going to not be possible. What were you saying? The the long, thin bit down between the nose and the... I don't think there's a block that does that. Yeah, there should be. There's a, an inverse uh, one by 4 that goes behind, and then you can stick um, a normal one by 4 Pyramid one by four in front of that. Jack, can you move the connector or not? Um, hang on, let me try. It's just stuck in the floor for me. Yeah. It almost works, doesn't it? Try the two by four. It's got this really weird wedge thing going on now. <laughs> that was what I was saying. I don't think how that is is going to marry and work. Try the inverse two by four. I can move this, but I can't get it to connect. It's an event. <laughs> <laughs> Does that work any better? No, it doesn't work Happy either. Anniversary, Nutter. I'm gonna save this and leave and join again. I had this earlier. Okay, I gotta connect. No, Mike. That's kind of got to pick enough, it yeah. up and then drop it again. Yeah, that should be enough. I, I kind of feel like the, uh, there's a piece here that's gonna work, right? Pritali, thank you for a bullseye. Fifty months, sir. Working. It doesn't move yet, but it works. It's got to be yeah, something that works. Turns it. Over, that's good. If you're going to be despawned for a minute, I'm just going to spawn something in quick. Okay. 
How about simple wedges? I don't think. I don't. I don't, mm, I don't know. Because <laughs> a simple wedge would be that one down there, wouldn't it? Like the one by four, which doesn't work. I feel like it's got to be some kind of inverse pyramid thing. Almost like that, but not quite. <laughs> Aerodynamic styling. This thing almost worked, isn't it? Let's try another one by two in there. That's got some nice styling to it. Maybe just sort this bit out here somehow. I've got something in there, do you think? Problem with that, it's like three squares, not four. Oh, that nearly works as well. That's actually really annoying. Air vents, that's what that is. I don't mind that so much, but I can't leave a, a massive air vent there. <laughs> Annoyingly, you can't fill it in because the uh, the window is here. So you can't do anything about that. Like that block is occupied. One if you could. You see, that's too big now. Oh, that's so annoying. Everything is just slightly too big. Pyramid one by one by one window. Oh, that almost worked. Ooh, there's a solution. Oh, look at that. That works. It's slightly hacky, but I like it. Fills in the gap nicely. Mind the gap. Okay, that's the front nose finished for now. The weight's in the right place. Yeah, let's get some control systems on board. Uh 
Distance above sea level in meters. That's not much use. What was that noise? That was um, probably Jack spawning something. Artificial horizon, that's got to go in. I may have to bring the pilot's seat back a block. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see very much. It's when you're kind of like sat here. You... I think I officially give up with the missions in this game. What happened? Well, I put all four crates or three crates of the lighthouse on the deck, and now I seem to only have one. Oh. And the other ones are four kilometers away. Well, what? Well, it just, they were on the deck of my boat for the most of the journey. You know, they've just hung back. And when I look behind me, I've got packages three and a half K away. And I'm only 600 meters from my destination. Wow. Because they weren't locked down or something. Well, when I look at the map, they're pinging mostly, but they seem to be exactly where I, they were when I picked them up. So I, I don't know. Yeah, usually, but I've got one. Usually they they they're in the vehicle, but they ping back as if you've dropped yeah. them, and then but they come they, back to the vehicle. They were doing that this whole way, and now they've gone to the extreme, and now they're not even with me. I've got one. Wow. I mean, would it help if I came to you or something? Well. The only thing, if you were to ping over to the Coast Guard Outpost beginner, if there's two parcels there, then it means that there is two parcels there. And obviously I hadn't su supposedly moved three across, even though I had, but. I need some sensors on the front. Well, just let me know what you need me to do, if anything. Sensor. So we want a linear speed yeah. sensor. So one out of three, and the other two are back at where they started. Thanks, game. Yeah. Um, I seem to remember I created a controller last time. Oh, as if my game just crashed. Wonder what edits I now have to redo. Last auto save was at seventeen thirty three. That's possibly before Sony headed out. Which is fine. <laughs> you know, it's, it was screwed up anyway. Oh, 
Oh, come on, game. All right, so basically, yeah. Welcome back. Oh, well, it is what it is. What was it called? A pyramid window? I'm just going to build mine in a, my own creative scene. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I give up. What? So it spawned me in, it's dropped me in the ocean, and now... Oh, hang on, has the boat just stopped? It spawned me in in a moving boat, the boat's gone away, I've now dropped in the sea, and now the boat... Oh, the boat has stopped, hang on. <laughs> oh. Otherwise, there'd just be a random boat going across the horizon on its own. Just... Maybe it doesn't like all of us being in separate places. <laughs> yeah. Because me and you have done this mission already, so... Weird that it used to be okay with it. Just getting worse. Yep. It's okay though, you got search bar. Artificial horizon goes in again. I'm just not going to go and attempt it again because I just don't see the point. Yeah. Welcome back, Nata. So, speed. In knots, altitude, in feet, Neil Cardo, thank you for almost four years. Coops, welcome back. Denver Cole, welcome back. Uh, True Blue Aussie, 63 months, dude. Wishing you all the very best for Yacht 6. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome back, Platinum. Back. You know, for somebody living in Australia to stay sub for 63 months, that's epic. Because it's very hard for somebody to watch in Australia with time zones. Urban Jack, welcome back. Have you guys got permission? Because I didn't grant you any. Nope. I'm in um, my own creative save while I build this coin. Okay. <laughs> so, having lost 10 minutes of work again, let's go back and put the sensors in. Sensors. And a linear speed sensor. Am I okay to put a temperature sensor there, or should I really put it on the outside of the plane, like a pito type thing? NC Captain, hello, sir. I guess if it was here, it's still fine, wouldn't it? It'd be fine.
Right, directional speed. That's what I was going to do. I was going to create a function to calculate to convert the speed. I want that go there. What's going on? How do we convert um, a more stock in an editor? It just buys them, doesn't it? Happy How do we convert um, meters per second to knots, I wonder? Meters per second. To not 1.94384 apparently. Um, X times should do it. Out of stock. How can we be out of stock of a function? Uh, because we only just unlocked it. Actually, I think it's still researching. Yeah, the function block is only 35 minutes through being researched, so that one must have been in stock before. Yeah. Long. Okay. If you sleep, it'll come into stock, basically. That's funny. Okay. Right, linear In speed into the function block. Function block out to the speed display. For now, we'll just take the alt altitude and stick it into here and convert it when we can. Uh, this can be instrument lights. Let's see. Um, backlight for that. Backlight. Backlight. Key four. There's three. Uh, 
Uh, what? That was weird. Yeah, we've got lights. I think they need to be set back, really, don't they? If possible. Uh, free Mickey Mouse, how are you doing? Not sure if we can set them back. It's going to make it a lot easier to read if we uh, shove it back a block, I think. No co-pilot seats. Nope. Get all this cargo space for whatever. Grab some fuel. This plane's looking good. It looks more like a plane, though. It's getting there. It's a little bit easier to control. Oh, one of the gear came up way quicker than the other one. Very noisy. <laughs> Say again. <laughs> Have you changed the numbers in the pivot? You know the gearing and stuff. Yeah, it looks like one of the pivots is wrong.
Guys, remember to put a fuel display on the inside, okay? Because I have no idea how much fuel we have on board right now. I'm not even running it at, like, I'm running it at uh, 20, 21 percent throttle, or 21 RPS. Yeah, the runway approach is stupid. They've got a massive mountain range on the way in. So, of all your complaints of this game, that's the one <laughs> that the runway approach is from. Whoa, 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 what's going on? It's a very unusual attitude. <laughs> oh my god. It's the new Microsoft Flight Simulator, guys. Oh my god, the front wheel is just so bad. I landed on the rears and then as soon as the front touched down it just broke it in half. That pivot mount is entirely rubbish. Like the only way I can think of fixing that is to have it going sideways like the other ones, but then it'll just fold in a stupid place. Just make it like a, a warthog, <laughs> just fold sideways. What if it folded, um, forward? Do you just rotate it? It is folded forward. It's got blocks behind it, but it still breaks. Yeah. I don't know, it's like the whole pivot structure's just snapped. Make it a tail dragger. <laughs> yeah, it's gone through a, the block to to break off on itself. This is the best bit, right? When it was on the ground, it wasn't moving, so I put more thrust in and it wasn't moving. I turn the engines off and get out and it starts going forward on its own. Maybe instead of using that, use one of the um, the rotating blocks. They might have a bit more strength. Like the proper pivots. Well, um, that still brings it in. Um, hmm. I don't know if they have more strength or not. I really don't. It's something to try. I'd rather not waste 20 minutes finding out that doesn't work. I love the way this thing's making its way back to the hangar. Happy anniversary. Globe troll, I think it's 28. Baz, I come home, Paul's building a plane. This will end badly. Yeah, it's fine, Baz. So this is what it's like inside Puppy's head. What, empty? It was empty, I must admit. <laughs> right, this is a real issue. This is a this is a real problem. We need to fix this somehow. Somebody say 1 to 32 makes it stronger. I'm sure they did.
I don't know Boeing. I don't know what they use. Lol. Now that's interesting. How is it that the undercarriage at the back was strong enough to lift the plane? Where all the weight is, but the one at the front isn't. the block at the back there just to give it a bit of extra Mr. Durka how you doing sir? Hope you're well. What's happening with the um, the brewing at the moment, Durka? Be right back. Okay. Is all that on hold? Are you able to make stuff? Had a good run outside. Nice. Getting you a one exercise a day, allowance in. Plane's looking tasty. It's, it's slowly getting there. I'd say what I was going to do. I was going to tweak some stuff. I know the roll. The roll wasn't really quick enough. The pitch was a little bit too quick. I'm back. Had a fuel gauge. Good call. Welcome back. Welcome back. Not a... Where should we add said fuel gauge? Zero to fourteen seven nine seven is what we've got.
It's in this one, isn't it? The number of liters in enclosed volume, total capacity. PC specs, well, they're going to change soon. They get the new PC. This one's a couple of years old. It's a 1080 Ti with a Intel i7 6950X, 32 gig of RAM, SSDs and stuff. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to change soon. We're going Ryzen. What else do we need in here? Business class seats. This is not a passenger jet. Come on. Are you going to use your old PC for chat? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to use it for chat and Minesweeper. I need some lights on this thing. Uh, we've got a gear indicator. Gear indicator's here. That's a parking brake indicator. And the gear indicator is... Or was... <laughs> somewhere... Wait, what happened to the gear indicator? Parking brake. Oh, there it is. That light there. That's the gear indicator. That white light down there. I couldn't see it because of the arrow. Uh, I am here. Welcome back. Thank you. It's getting messy. Nah. Lights. We need internal lights and external lighting is what we need. So we got basic lights. I remember turning these down a little bit last time. If we put the lighting at the back and then it should light the whole area, shouldn't it? I think last time we dialed the color down a bit, remember. That really doesn't like it's changing, does it? Why oh, the holes in the back of the plane? Ventilation. That's all. Just just ventilation. What's that used for? Not used. What's that button used for? The one that says not used. It's not used. Uh, Syria. Lights. 
Not used. I think I put the wrong kind of lights in. I must admit, the wing does seem awfully short now compared to the size of the plane. I'm thinking like it should be out here somewhere. Taper back. This looks a bit weird. But the actual tail fin looks too small now. Everything looks too small now, I made the thing bigger. It all looks out of proportion all of a sudden. Maybe the back just needs to slope slower like that. Probably looks chunky because it doesn't doesn't look tapered properly. Fuselage is too big. Some lights there. Yeah? Uh, will they ship a yacht sorry to South Africa with the Rona going around? I I don't know. If you go to the website and then go through the order process, if it won't ship there, they'll tell you. I do not know. Wouldn't you want to put spotlights there? What actual spotlights? These things. Has a range of sixty on it. Has a range of ten. I suppose so. They just don't look very nice, do they? They look a bit weird. Welcome back, Nutter. Uh, Pampisi, welcome back. Might not, I might leave the nav lights off for now and stuff, the blinky lights and everything. Because I might redo the wing a little bit. Need another button in here. <laughs> Instrument li lights, um, Landing lights. Mm. 
What are you boys up to? Trying to get my thing to move. Did you get your package, Tommy? No, I gave up with the mission because I just didn't want to be heartbroken again. Yes, and I'm just uh, trying to figure out what this update's going to do to the um, fuel rework that I made. I made. As in the new way of handling pipes and stuff. Well, yeah, because to set up the winch now, you have to use... You ha instead of it having its own little connection point and then you stick a connector on that, you have to do it yourself with the rope logic and using... Um, a, f a fuel hose or fluid hose anchor, but the, you can't set up data through that, so I won't be able to have connector release buttons anymore. Yeah, that's basically it. Which means that you'll always have to have a release button on the thing you're connecting the hose to. Great. Yeah. The only way that I've thought about possibly doing it is mounting two winches next to each other. And then having an electrical connector on one and a fluid on the other. Right. Then power the winches from the same button so they both spool out at the same time. It would mean possibly two hoses or ropes going from point A to point B, but. Yeah. Whoa. Why the internal lights didn't work? I didn't connect the connect the electricity. Are you ready for a flight to the Arctic yet then? <laughs> yeah. I reckon it'll make it. Has it got heaters? Nope. I mean, let's face it, it's not even a sealed unit. <laughs> yeah. And no passenger windows yet either. Hey Jack, you know you've got the little mini arrow buttons on your creations? Yeah. Do you take that into a composite read? Yeah, it comes up very slow. Well, I can actually see what fuel I've got left now, which is kind of handy. You want to talk about broken? We're doing 85 knots with two jet engines. My Cessna does this. No. Maybe a stupid question. Is air knots and ground knots the same thing? In this game, I doubt it makes any difference. But are they different units of measures in the real world? Not knots themselves, but air speed knots and ground speed knots are different. It depends on wind, but yeah. The fact that it says 83, 91 or whatever is still pretty lame for a jet engine, right? Yeah, maybe you'll put it to like miles per hour and make yourself feel a bit better. Or maybe Actually, I'll just... Have you even put the function in yet? Yeah. So you've got the function block always. Yeah, I just put a function in it. Oh, okay. Okay, we can, like, go a lot quicker, but we're chunking through the fuel now. Oh, that wasn't full throttle. Oh, that's all right. Oh, there's nowhere near full throttle. Oh, that's okay. I was thinking that was it. It was like, really? 
I'm just conscious of fuel. Or lack thereof. Exactly. <laughs> It's not exactly great visibility either. How fast does Curly Toes fly? Anybody remember? No clue. I mean, 80 is ringing a little bell, but I'm not really sure. I don't know what unit that is, I'm assuming that would be knots as well. See if we can actually get this thing to land. White then jumps out. Brave. And we're down. And the state of the nose wheel? Completely fine. Wow. I think you're starting to crack this, mister. Yeah, why the ones are left back now? I'd just accelerate away from him, wouldn't you? Yep. Should have believed! ye of little faith. I've wondered fuel. Have you got enough fuel for the return? Looks like it. This might be a successful voyage. Maybe just get enough altitude so I can glide back. Yeah, but gliding isn't really a factor in this game, is it? Isn't it like more like stone in the pond? That's a bit of gliding, but once you get under a certain amount of thrust, it's it is quite nose down, yeah. Whiteland's abusing Rome's body. <laughs> okay, I don't wanna know. Whiteland just hopped off over the horizon with some <laughs> guy's body on the shoulder. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Rose. <laughs> yeah, be honest, it doesn't like old Glad. It doesn't like old Barrel Roll as well, but it will. Slowest barrel rolls in the world. <laughs> oh, you built for it. Why does it do that crazy camera thing? So we have having tank tracks next. Right, I need to head home. Um, I'm getting low on fuel here. Yeah, we do need them. Spend about five minutes just sleeping through all the research and just getting yeah. Because there's a. Um, it turns out that I do need that solid rocket research because it's got the fins in there that I need for something. That's alright, we're waiting for Paul to enter the approach button. <laughs> doing some uh, test flying stunts here. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough fuel anymore. 
I might do. We'll see. Can you land it without becoming a fireball? So people said it doesn't glide very well. You're five kilometers out. Yeah, I'm down to the last quarter tank now. Oh, you should make it. Let me Have close. Have you got any manual control over the throttle at all? Yeah, it's complete manual control. I can't even scroll down. So, what's your fuel reading now? 235. I'll be fine as long as I have to go around, then I'll have a problem. <laughs> the, uh, the jet engines really do drink the fuel. Especially if they're, uh, like, higher than 40%. The visibility's not exactly great right now, either. And your full reading now? Uh, 195. I can see you. So you're doing Cause I can't like see you. Kilometer, so you're you should be okay. You're heading right for us now. The runway's just over that bridge in front of you. Yeah, you're inside. Oh, there it is. Crikey, I thought that was it over there. Yeah, down the road. Should be perfectly lined up actually. Not bad considering he hasn't flown in however many months. <laughs> oh no! That's a bit of a drop. <laughs> that was not good. Front end's a bit uh, smashed. All the displays have gone. Yeah, all the all the controls oh. have gone. Quick dispatch fire cars. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh. I was so close. In the pop tug. Did you actually run out of fuel or did you just cut fuel throttle too soon? I, I throttled down but it's kinda hard to gauge um your air speed yeah. and stuff. There's like a very fine line between just slow enough to stay in the air and land nicely and dropping like a stone. Yeah, there's no stall warning indicator at all. Uh, falling with style, isn't it? Like, what they need to do is put a, a sensor on the wing so that you know when it's stalling. That would give you a clue. You can create one of those. I don't know exactly the ins and outs of it, but people do have like stall warnings and things like that on their planes. But essentially, it used about a thousand fuel to go from this airbase to the one just west of us, Harrison Airbase, and back. I still oh, have. I, no, I have workbench authorization. Oh yeah, me too, please. And if we can sleep in the immediate future, that'd be great. Cheers, thanks. Oh, anything else you want, so mean? So demanding. Quite a lot of sleep, actually. Thank you very much. So we'll probably have to spawn back to the base.